Can you help me with that, please? There is not, there is no life. Come on, sing it. No one else. My heart like you do. I can search for all. Come on. Eternity, Lord. And find there is no come on sing it again. There is none. Come on, sing it. There is none. Come on, there is none. Come on, sing it. There is none. Oh, there is none. Come on, sing it like you mean it. take it back to when the seasoned saints used to sing little quick songs they say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we have the victory yeah in the name of Jesus come on sing it like you mean it mighty name of Jesus sing it like you mean it Satan you have to Sing it like you mean it. Oh, tell, come on, who stand before? Can I get the drums when we call? in here when you know the power in Jesus does anybody know about the power in Jesus let's try this again in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus come on let me hear you we have the bit sing it like you mean it oh, in the name of Jesus. come on mighty name Satan is happening Oh, oh, oh. Tell me who can stand me when we call on the great name. I think you to sing it with some power. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus, precious, we have, we have.
relationship. I've got relationship. This isn't a joke for me. This is real for me. I believe in Jesus. I believe. I dare you to shout and say, I've got the victory. Grace, mercy, and peace be multiplied to each and every one of you from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. It is another day's journey, and we are so glad about it. We are so excited and delighted to be invited into your time on tonight for a night of prayer and worship. We have witnessed so many gruesome events that transpired over the last couple of weeks. We have witnessed uh, someone in the supermarket, go to the supermarket to in taking uh, uh, 10 lives, amen. We have witnessed uh, uh, people go into out of a school and, and shoot and kill over 21 innocent people. Saints, we need to pray. So this is usually our night of prayer and Bible study, but the Lord placed on our hearts on tonight that we are to come in fervent prayer and we will have a mighty word of God and a mighty move of God. We come on tonight expecting greater. We know that God has greater in store for us here at the Remnant. Our motto is be blessed, encourage, and expect greater. Then some people ask why? Because God has greater in store for us. We come tonight for no uh, a show, no performance, no fanfare, but we come tonight to lift Jesus higher and we're in anticipation for the mighty move. The preacher is here, we have our soloist here. We're going to get right into our worship and allow God to move. We welcome everyone to the Remnant Family Worship Center. I, a humble servant, served as a servant leader here. We, we are a ministry built on prayer, amen. We believe in the word of prayer. This group started, this ministry started as a prayer group and we are so happy for this branch of Zion that God has given unto us for such a time as this. Amen. Let's look to the Lord. Father God, we thank you. We worship and bless your name. God, we thank you for bringing us to the sacred hour now. God, we have come to pray. We have come to hear from you. God, we come to have a conversation, God. God, we pray that you meet our needs right now. God, wherever we're standing, where we're sitting, whether we at work on our way home or even at home, God, be with us. You're omnipresent, God, so we know you're ever at the same time. Now, kind Father, take the man serving down into the storehouse. God, give him a word for your people because God, with everything going on around us, we need a word. So God, bless the man of God. Don't anoint him afresh. Give him the anointing to make preaching seem kind of easy. Now, kind Father, we pray that you have thy own way, God. Any way you see fit to move, you have free reign. Remove our agenda, remove our plans, remove our program out of the way. But Lord, we say, have thine own way. Heal, set free, and deliver on tonight. In the mighty, majestic name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. And thank God. Amen. We come to seek God on tonight to intercede for those who some can here pray for themselves. We're going to pray and cover them on tonight because we know that God is a keeper and a preserver. We have a preacher on tonight. This is my brother from another mother, amen. We actually started preaching at the same time over 16 years ago at the Mount Sinai Baptist Church, amen. This is my brother like none other. He comes from the Reclaim for Christ Ministries under uh, his pastor Hooks, amen, who has been nurturing and training and pouring into him. He is a young man of God, a man after God's own heart. He is anointed and appointed for such a time as this. Regardless of age, regardless of anything, God's hand is on his life. So after our sermonic selection, my good friend and my sister, uh, Lady Joy Jess is going to come and bless us 
with the somatic selection after she has concluded the next voice you will hear, but that of the esteemed, the astute, the dynamic, the prophetic, and the anointed, Brother Clifton G. Stewart. Stewart, in that order, please. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. I'm just going to get in your way and out of the way with something very simple. Song simply goes like this. And if you know it, sing along with me. I need the oh, I need thee. Every I need thee, oh bless me now, my Savior, I come to, to thee, I need the oh, I need thee. Yeah. Every hour, I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to, to thee, I need thee, oh, I need thee, every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I, I come to, to thee. If we could just do this one time together, I need. The oh, I need thee. Yes, Lord. Every, Every hour, hour, I need I thee. Need oh, bless, bless me now, my Savior. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Father, yes, God. Yes, Lord. To thee. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grace and peace, people of God. Hallelujah. That is my favorite song. You're taking it to a different place. Grace and peace. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you're so rich on this line. Thank you. Want to give honor, hallelujah. <laughs> Want to give honor to the servant leader, my dear friend, my dear brother, Pastor Elect Calvin Chandler. Thank you for choosing me uh, for this time of prayer and worship. You could have chosen anybody else, but I thank God that you have chosen me. Um, I want to give honor to my pastor, Pastor Sharice Hooks. Um, we are located in 408 Main Street, Strasburg, Pennsylvania. Um, we're also a praying ministry, um, a church that's full of prayer warriors and intercessors. Um, and like Brother uh, Pastor Calvin said, that we are based and we are founded off of prayer. And in this time being our um, prayer is vital. Prayer is essential. Prayer is needed. And not only because of what's going on in the land, but the Lord seeketh those who worship him in spirit and in truth. He's looking for his children. He's looking for those chosen ones. He's looking for those set apart ones. He's looking for those ones who will cry out and spare not. He's looking for those children. 
So tonight I sought the Lord last night, um, talking to God, just me and him, and asked the Lord, what do you want me to say to your people? You know, I don't take this lightly. I could have just came on and say any kind of prayer, but I take the things of God very, very, very seriously. That's what my pastor has taught me. Take God, take the things of God very, very, very seriously. And I sought the Lord last night and he placed it upon my heart, the book of Ruth. And I was shocked because usually, you know, if you're church like I am, <laughs> We usually go to the book of Ruth or Esther if it's like a woman's day service or mother's day. But because my pastor has taught me of how to truly divide the word and to gain revelation from the word, the Lord has placed it upon my heart, the book of Ruth. And if you have your Bibles or your tablet, or whatever that you read the Bible from, I need you to go into the book of Ruth chapter one, chapter one. And the highlighted verse we're going to speak about tonight is verse 15 and verse 16. Here begins the read on God's holy word. And she said, behold, thy sister-in-law is gone back unto her people and unto her gods. Return thou after thy sister-in-law. And Ruth said, entreat me not to leave thee, or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God, my God. So far the scripture. Father, we thank you, O God, for what was said and done up to this very moment. We thank you, God, for the vision that you have given Pastor Elect Calvin Chandler Father, we thank you, oh God, for every believer that's on the Zoom and for every believer that's maybe either watching through Facebook or YouTube. Now, Father, I pray that now in the name of Jesus, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable and only acceptable in thy sight, oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Father, your people, even I as a speaker, we need to hear a word from you, oh God, to go into our tomorrow, to go into our next week, oh God. Father, we cannot rely on yesterday or last week word, but Father, tonight we need to hear from heaven. Father, tonight, oh God, we need you, oh God, to be our GPS, oh God. Father, tonight, oh God, we need you to be the captain of our ship, oh God. So Father, I pray each and every time, oh God, that you will speak through me, oh God. Let it not be of my words, oh God, that will touch your people's ears. But Father, I'm asking for the words of the Holy Spirit, oh God, will touch, oh God, and rest in your children's ear gates tonight, oh God. Father, let somebody, oh God, come off the Zoom call, oh God, being changed. Let somebody come off the Zoom call, oh God, being transformed. Let somebody come off the Zoom call, oh God, not because it's a form of fashion and not because it's something that, oh God, that we have nothing else to do. But Father, tonight, oh God, we want to encounter with you, oh God. And when we come off the Zoom call, oh God, we can truly testify that we have an encounter with the Holy Spirit. We have an encounter with the Chosen One. We have an encounter with our Father, oh God. So Father, I thank you, oh God, for every believer, oh God, that came on this conference call, oh God. They may they came in one way, oh God. But Father, I decree and declare, oh God, that after your word is spoken, oh God, and after the prayer of intercession will go forth, oh God, that Father, your people will leave differently, oh God. They will leave fulfilled, oh God. They will leave stronger, oh God. They will leave wiser, oh God. And they will leave more anointed, oh God, because the devil has lost together. So Father, I thank you, oh God, that you shall be in the midst of this service. You shall be the midst around me and through me and in me, God. Father, let God arise and the enemy be scattered and let those that hate thee flee before thee now. So, Father, we thank you and we praise you, God, and we glorify you, God. We come with great expectation, oh God, of what you're about to do tonight, oh God, as we're on the road to Pentecost, as we're on the road to celebrate your Holy Spirit, oh God. We thank you now, oh God, that even before 
before, oh God, we step into the church house on Sunday, even before, oh God, we step into our Sunday, oh God. Father, we have, oh God, Pentecost tonight. So, Father, oh God, rest upon your people tonight. Touch every ear oh so God. Let their grounds be conducive, oh God, for every seed, oh God, because your word is a seed, oh God. Let it be planted in their hearts, oh God. And, Father, we shall see a harvest, and we shall see the fruit thereby. So, Father, oh God, we give you glory, and we give you honor, and we give you praise in all these things for this portion of prayer for now. And we're going to pray more later on. But for this prayer before the preach word oh god we say amen for now hallelujah hallelujah jesus so we came from the book of ruth chapter 1 verses 15 through 16 and if i had to choose a topic that would be relevant for this time day and age for what we need as a people i could preach to anybody else but this word is specifically for the body of christ this word is specifically for the ones who said their Lord and Jesus as their Lord and Savior. This word is specifically for the one who goes to church. This word is specifically for you. So if I had to choose a topic tonight, tonight's topic would be don't lose God. Don't lose God. No matter what's going on in this world, do not lose God. We are living in a time where people are panicking and especially the people in the church, because of what's going on in the world. They have the Ukrainian and the Russian war. They have the increases of the gas prices. And as Pastor Calvin said earlier, with the different mass shootings, then you have the increases of groceries and it goes so on and so on. And because we panic, our emotions would tend to serve another God. Our emotions would tend to look at and focus on the problem and not the God of our salvation. Our emotions tend to get the best of us and we tend to look somewhere else and we put God on the back burner. But tonight, tonight, we have to remain our focus, put our focus on God, put our focus on Jehovah Jireh because he is our provider. We have to get back to the place where we say for God, God, I live, and for God, I die. Hallelujah. We see Naomi. She comes from a place that's called Bethlehem, Judah, which is interpreted praise. Judah means praise. She then is trained, and she's well taught in Judah. Her husband, which is named Elimelech, he is taught and he is well trained in Judah as well. They both were trained and taught in Judah of how to reverence and how to respect God. They was taught and trained of how to praise God. They was taught and trained of how to give you worship unto God. They was taught and trained to how to just give God their all. They was taught and trained just to give God everything that's a part of them. They was taught and trained in the place of Judah, Bethlehem, Judah, which means it's a place of praise. But watch this. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. There was taught to be in a place of God of how to navigate when things start to get rough. There was taught of how when things, oh God, the storm would try to rise up in front of them. They was taught of how to use praise. And that's why I come here tonight to tell you that it's important for you to have a prayer life. It's important for you to have a praise life because anytime when the storm, I feel God, anytime Anytime when the storms will come arise, anytime when dark clouds may arise, anytime when trials and tribulation may arise, it's in your praise that God will give knowledge. It's in your praise that God will give instruction. It's in your praise that God will help you navigate of how to get through the storm and not only just get through the storm, but flourish the top of soul, but flourish in the storm. He will give you a praise. Not just for the cloud, not just for so your neighbors, not just for death competition, but he's showing you a praise that anytime the enemy will come in like a flood, the enemy will lift up a God, oh God, he will lift up a standard against him. How can God ever stand if our mouth is quiet? How can God ever stand if our mouth is shut up? But I challenge you tonight that no matter what's going on in the world, there is a praise in your mouth. There is a praise in your stomach. There is a praise for out of your belly. 
valley shall come rivers of living water. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That now is a time that Naomi and Elimelech, there is a famine that in the land, and God decided to let there be a famine in the land. He decided this was of God to be a famine in the land. And so now Naomi and Elimelech, they both decided that because it's a famine in the land, there is a lack in the land, there is a drought in the land. Let us leave this place that we have called home. Let us leave this place that we have gained our training. Let us leave this place that we have gained our confidence in God. Let us leave this place and let us go to a different land and start over. This is the conversation between Naomi and Elimelech. So they decided to go into a place and that place is called Moab. Hallelujah. In the place of Moab, Moab is known for idolatry. Moab is known for a place of the dead gods. Moab is known for a place of golden images. Moab is known for a place of witchcraft. Better yet, no, no. Moab is known for a place that worships the God of Baal. Moab is known for a place. There is no Yahweh in that place. There is no Elohim in that place. There is no Ashraddai in that place. There is no Jehovah in that place. So here we see Naomi left the place of prayer and praise. Now they transition to a place that's committed to idolatry. They left the place of prayer and praise. And they transition to a place that's known for witchcraft. They left the place of prayer and praise. And they transition to a place that's known of the unknown gods. These gods are dangerous. And Naomi and Elimelech went to this place. And there later on in the scripture, we see in the verses above, we see that Elimelech and Naomi, two sons, they all three of them, they pass away. We see three of her relatives, not just any kind of relatives, but three of her close relatives. I need you now not to look at the book of Ruth as his official story, but to look at it was a real woman who went through real hardship, who went through a real break, who went through a real de depression, who went through a series of loss. She lost her husband, and within a couple of days, she lost her two sons. Naomi, who left the place of praise and prayer, went to a place of idolatry. She took the blessings of God and she went into a cursed land. She took the blessings of God and moved into a cursed land. People of God, I admonish you tonight. You've got to be careful that wherever God has blessed you with, be careful where you go. Be careful where you move because you have the ability to curse it. You gotta be careful and wherever God bless you with, you gotta cherish that thing. You gotta be careful. Naomi went to a place and she lost her husband and her two sons. She lost her loved one. She lost her, oh, she lost that joy because later on in the scripture, as she was going back home, I'm, I'm fast forwarding, as she was going back home, she told the people in Judah, don't call me Naomi, but call me Nada, which means it's bitterness. So she come from that place that she had lost she had lost so much people in her life. She had lost some loved ones. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And then you see <clears throat> her two daughter-in-laws. Oh, you see Orpha and you see Ruth. And now Naomi is stuck between a decision. She's stuck in between a hard life choice because now before that, there was a messenger that came from Judah and told Naomi that Bethlehem Judah has no more famine. Bethlehem Judah went back to being prosperous. Bethlehem Judah went back to the place of where it's flourishing now. And now Naomi said, I want to go back to where I came from. But now she's stuck because she had two daughters-in-law that she had to care for. She had two daughters-in-law who felt it was obligated 
to Naomi. And here, watch it. This is the key, the key, the key point of tonight's message. So when Naomi was torn between, the Bible says Naomi wept. Uh, before we get to Jesus, Trevor, the Bible says that Naomi wept. And Naomi was stuck in between decisions. She said, should I stay in this place where I've lost my son? In this place, I've lost a lot. In this place, I lost my loved ones. In this place, I lost my trust in God. In this place, I lost my focus in God. In this place, I lost my love or my drive for God, my fire for God. I lost it in Moab. But now is the time for me to go back to Judah. Now is the time for me to go back to the place. Oh, that's called praise. So now Naomi is stuck between her and because she don't want her to, to steal Ophir and steal Ruth her, because you, you have to understand that Ruth her, and Ophir only know Moab. Her. They only know watches her, of what they're familiar with. Her. They only know what they're accustomed to. Her. They only know their surrounding areas. Her. They only know the gods of Moab. Her. So now is the time her, that Ophir said, her, because you are God made his decision Offer decided that I'm going to stay in Moab because I'm used to this. I'm going to stay in Moab because I'm used to the gods. I'm going to stay in Moab because this is where I grew up. I'm going to stay in Moab because this is where I grew up and I'm so familiar with. But here, watch Ruth. Ruth had the same growing up experience as offer. Ruth had the same experience as offer. Ruth had the same story as Ruth. Ruth only knows Moab, but she so trusted into Naomi. She trusted in her vision. She trusted what Naomi had to say. And so Ruth looked towards the path that was towards Bethlehem, Judah, and remind you, all, all Ruth know is Moab, but she looked not only she looked to a different destination, but she looked for another opportunity. She looked and she knew that where God truly resides. She knew and she looked at her mother-in-law and she knew that the God of our salvation must be in this place that's called Judah. Oh God, Ruth has shown her an unremarkable of loyalty, not just only to her mother-in-law, but to the God that she serves. In spite of what's going on around her in Moab, in spite of what's going on, even though she didn't use excuses, or oh, because Judah already had a famine in the past, then it might have a possibility to have another famine. But Ruth understand the God that Ruth and Naomi serve. They understand. Tonight, I challenge you, Remnant, and I challenge you, every believers that's on this Zoom call and who may be viewing and watching, come out of Moab and go back to Judah. Come out of the place of idolatry and go back to Judah of praise. Come out of idolatry and go back into the place that taught you how to pray. Come out of the dead place and go back to the place that taught you how to praise God in the storms, that taught you how to praise God in trials and tribulation. Come out of Moab that taught you, oh God, to to doubt God. Moab taught her not to believe in God. Moab taught her to look at different resources. Moab taught her of how to have a backup plan. But tonight I come to tell you, Remnant, go back to the place of Judah where prayer preserved you. Go back to the place of Judah where prayer, oh God, has kept your life. Go back to the place of Judah where praise has kept your life going and going. So tonight, I come to tell you, I come to tell you, I come to stop by and tell you to leave that place of Moab, leave that dead place, leave that dry place, leave that place where there's no water flowing, leave that place where there's no living God, leave that place that's full of images, leave that place. 
And you might be saying tonight, Brother Clifton, where am I serving no idols? Where am I serving no golden images? I go to church every Sunday. I go on Tuesday night Bible study and prayer. Brother Cliff, what you're talking about? I still go to church. I still do what I got to do. I still pay my tithes and orphan. I still do what I got to do. I still talk to the saints from time to time. I still, oh God, that's what you're saying. But I'm not talking about of what you do in the physical, but way deep down. What about when the bills piled up? What about you have to go to the grocery store and the certain meat look too expensive? What about you go to that certain gas station and the gas is getting too high? What about you looking at Fox News and all they're talking about is rumors of war? All they're talking about is mass shootings. Now you find yourself in a place of trying to find a backup plan. Now you're finding yourself in a place where you doubt God. Now you find your place in a place where you question God's ability. Now you're finding yourself in a place where you question God, his good hands. So tonight I tell you, and we're about to go into prayer, and we're about to go into intercession. But tonight, if I can leave you with anything, people of God, come out of Moab. Come out of that dry place. Come out of that place that continue keeping you sunken. Come out of that place that continues for you to die. Come out of that place where you continue to experience loss. Come out of that place where you continue to experience heartbreak. Come out of that place where you continue to go into a season of depression. Come out of that place where you continue, oh God, to have the weight upon your shoulders. Come out of that place. Come out, come out, come out. Come out of that place in the name of Jesus. And as you come out, go into a place of Judah. Go into the place of praise. Go into the place where God resides. Go into the place where God's blessing is. His blessing is rich and it has no sorrows. Go into that place where you fully trust in God. Go to that place where you fully depend on God. You don't even have to call the prayer warriors. You don't even have to call the elders of the church. But you know that your voice here. You know your voice goes to God. So tonight I challenge you. Tonight I challenge you to go into that place. Go into that place of Judah. Go into that place, that place of prayer. Go into that place of praise. Go into that place where God has kept you, where God has put his hands upon you, where God has given you perfect peace. Go back to that place. Tonight, remnant, I beg you, I beg you, and no matter what's going on in the world, go back to the place of Judah. Go back to the place of God in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we bless you, <clears throat> and Father, we worship you, and Father, we adore you. Father, we thank you, O God, for this time, O God, that you have spoken unto us. Father, we thank you, O God, for this time, O God, that you have rest your spirit upon us. Father, we thank you for this time, O God, because, Father, you said in your word that you would never leave us nor forsaken us, O God. So, Father, Emmanuel, we praise you because you are with us. And Jehovah's Shammah, we praise you now because, oh God, you are present with us, oh God. So, Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus that, Father, you will touch any listeners of this word, oh God. Father, you will touch every partakers, oh God, of this prayer now. Father, you will touch every believers, oh God. And Father, you said in your word, oh God, that because it was according unto their faith, oh God, that why you had blessed them, oh God. So, Father, I pray that now in the name of Jesus, uh, that you will touch your people tonight, oh God, and give them faith, oh God, like never before, oh God. Give them faith. Faithful God in the storm that they're in right now. Give them faithful God in the trials and tribulations that they're in, oh God. Give them faithful God. Whatever persecution, oh God, they may experience it, oh God. We pray that now in the name of Jesus that you will touch your people, oh God. That you, oh God, will rest upon your people, oh God. Father, I pray that now tonight, oh God, for my brothers and my sisters, oh God, and for the body of Christ, oh God, that God, we will come out of the place of Moab. We will come out of that place of dry 
the soul, God. Father, you told Moses, oh God, to go into the people of Egypt, oh God, and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. But Father, tonight, oh God, we come, oh God, and we want to be free tonight. We want to be free tonight. We want to liberate us, oh God. So Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray that tonight, oh God, that you will free us from every shackles, oh God. We pray that tonight, oh God, that you will loose every chains, oh God. We pray that now tonight, that the enemy of the loose his grip over our lives, oh God. And Father, tonight, oh God, we pray that now, God, that you will strengthen our legs, oh God. You will strengthen our minds, oh God. But before we go back to the place, we're going back to the place of where you kept us, oh God. We're going back to the place of where you watched over us. We're going back to the place of prayer, oh God. So, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we come now, oh God, and we come now to bombard heaven, oh God. Because, Father, as the songwriter said, we need you, God. Every hour, oh, we need you, Lord. So, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray that tonight, oh God, that we're coming back to you, God. Father, tonight, oh God, no matter what's going on in the world, we coming back to you. No matter what's going on in the world, oh God, we lift up our eyes to the hills, but what's coming, our help, our help coming from you, oh God. We understand and realize, oh God, that you will supply all of our needs according to your riches and your glory. So tonight I pray, oh God, and tonight I intercede now, oh God, for my brothers and my sisters, that tonight, oh God, they will hold on to your hands, oh God, or your unchanging hands, oh God. They will hope in you, God. They will believe in you, God. They will have faith in you, God. No matter what's going on, oh God, in the White House, oh God, no matter what's going on, oh God, in Russia, no matter what's going on, oh God, in China, oh God, we know that, Father, you're able to do exceedingly and you're able to do abundantly above that we can ask for things, oh God. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that now tonight that you will touch your people, oh God, and increase their faith, oh God. We pray that now tonight that you will touch your people, oh God, and increase their belief system, oh God. We pray that now tonight that Father, whatever the enemy, oh God, try to whisper in the ears, oh God. Father, tonight, oh God, bless your hands upon them, oh God. Father, tonight, oh God, bless your love upon them, oh God. Father, tonight, oh God, place your strength upon them, oh God, and give them the faith, oh God. They shall keep on going. And Father, tonight, we only look forward, oh God. We only look ahead, oh God. And we put those things behind us. And we press towards, we press towards, we press towards the mark of the higher calling. We press towards greater. We press towards our anointing. We press towards our calling. We press towards the blessings of the Lord. We press towards God. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, so Father, tonight, God, I pray that, God, that you would touch your people, oh, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, God, touch your children tonight, God. Cause them, oh, God, not to give up. Cause your children, oh, God, to have that dear feet, oh, God, to keep on pressing, oh, God. Cause your children, oh, God, to be bold in the gospel, oh, God. Cause your children, oh, God, to stand firm in you, God. Cause your children, oh God, to stay rooted in you, God. Cause your children, God, in the mighty days of Jesus. So, Father, tonight, oh God, we look up every sickness unto you, God. We look up every believer, oh God, who may be sick and shunning, oh God. Father, tonight, oh God, we only believe in the report of you, oh God. Father, tonight, oh God, we only believe what you say. And Father, you said, oh God, that we are healed. You said, oh God, that we are made whole. You said, oh God, that no sickness, oh God, is, oh God, to hard for you, God. So, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, for every believer, oh God, for every saint, oh God, wherever that they go through in their body, oh God, we pray that now tonight, oh God, from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, oh God, 
that you would touch him, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, tonight, oh God, we pray now for the minds of your people, oh God, for the enemy, oh God, is trying to play games in our minds, oh God. But Father, we pray that now tonight, that God, we should not have been double-minded, oh God. We should not be in unstable in all of our ways. But Father, tonight, oh God, we pray that now for a sound mind, oh God. We pray that now, oh God, let the mind of Christ be also in us tonight. We pray that now, God, that you will continue, oh God, to go against the spirit of depression, oh God. Go against, oh God, the spirit of oppression, oh God. Go against, oh God, the spirit of heaviness, oh God. And tonight, Father, we put on a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, oh God. Tonight, oh God, we put on a garment of praise. We exchange our clothing, oh God, and we put on the garment of praise. Father, tonight, oh God, we exchange our garments, oh God, and we put on the garments of you, God. And no matter what storms may come in our lives, no matter what trials and tribulations we go through, oh God, we got the garment of praise, oh God. So, Father, tonight, in the name of Jesus, touch every believer, oh God, and endow upon them, oh God, a spirit of praise, oh God, in doubt in them, oh God, a spirit of adoration unto you, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, today we ask of you, God, that you will have your way, God. And Father, before God, we end the prayer, God. <clears throat> Father, we give you a yes. We give you a yes, Lord. We give you a yes, Lord. Yes to your will, oh God. We say yes to your way. No matter what's going on around us, oh God. We say yes, Lord. No matter what's facing us, oh God. We say yes, oh God. No matter what's troubling us, oh God. We say yes, oh God. And not just from our mouth, oh God. But Father, from our soul, oh God. We say yes. From our soul, oh God. We we say yes to you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, tonight, oh God, touch your children, oh God. Touch your believers tonight, God. Touch the body of Christ tonight, God. And, Father, oh God, we will continue to press. We will continue, oh God, to go deeper in you, God. Touch the body of Christ tonight, oh God. And, Father, forgive us, oh God, for going to a place where we forgot about you. Forgive us, oh God, if we have gone to a place, oh God, that we have looked at other resources, oh God. God, forgive us, so oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, have your way, God, and move by your spirit now at this very moment, oh God. We thank you now for every pastor, so oh God. We thank you now for every minister, so oh God. We thank you now in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray that now, God, that you will wake up every intercessors. Yes, Lord, you will wake up every intercessors now, oh God. Every prayer warriors, oh God. Let us go back on the wall, oh God. And pray like never before, oh God. Wake up every intercessors now, oh God. And we shall go back into a place, oh God, where your word said in Thessalonians, that we shall pray without ceasing. So, Father, I pray that now tonight that you will touch every intercessor and prayer warrior, oh God, and bring us back to the place, oh God, that Father, we never left the altar. Bring us back to the place, oh God, where we don't leave the war. Give us a Hezekiah spirit, oh God, that no matter what you say, oh God, that Father, we will face at the war, and we will pray, God. Give us a Hezekiah spirit, oh God, that we shall pray going in and going out. Give us a Hezekiah spirit, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, tonight, Thank God, we give you all the glory <clears throat> and we give you all the honor and we give you all the praise and all these things we count it in his soul. It's in Jesus' name that we pray tonight. It's in Jesus' name, oh God, that we trust in you tonight. It's in Jesus' name that we rely on you tonight. It's in Jesus' name that we depend on you, oh God. It's in the mighty name of Jesus and the body of Christ will come into agreement because we know that it is so. It's in Jesus' name that we all pray and that we all, we all agree on in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, hallelujah. <clears throat> hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Grace and peace, people of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Amen, amen, amen. That was a word from God. You have to understand this, that your praise is the postage for your delivery. Whatever you're going through, whatever you need to get out of, if you praise God, you can be delivered. Your praise, type that in the chat, put it on Facebook. My praise is the postage for my delivery. I'm coming out of everything I'm going through. And when I come out, the Bible worded it like this. It said, I will give you uh, the oil of joy for mourning. I will give you the beauty for ashes. As we like to say, I will look like what I've been through. All we have to do is praise him. Praise is always in order. Staying in the same vein. Listen, beloved, we're going to sow a seed into the word on tonight. A $17 seed. 17 is the number of complete and total victory. If you know that you got complete and total victory on tonight, please, ma'am, please, sir, sow that seed. You can do it via Cash App, Dallas Island, the Remnant Family, WC, or you can go to Givelify app. Look for our seal of the Remnant Family Worship Center on your screen, and you can give and you can sow a seed into the Word. When the prophet and the man of God came to top town, there were people that went to them brought gifts. They believed in sowing. And so that you sow, that shall I That shall you reap. Now, everyone know I'm not the prosperity preacher. I don't believe in getting on and, and, and saying so, so, so. If God places it on your heart to give and so on tonight, do it because you're sowing in a fertile ground. And you shall reap a plentiful harvest for sowing. We are sowing not just for us, but we're sowing for protection for our young people. I'm an educator. I go to school and work with the children every day. And it's supposed to be a safe haven. But when you have individuals being uh, overtaken by the enemy, going inside of an elementary school and, and shooting kindergarten and pre-K students who I actually work with, it hits a little different. We're sowing for protection that when our grandmothers and our parents go to the grocery store, go to the departments or the supermarket, that they are covered by the blood. We are sowing into the word that whenever we're going through, we will go back and get back to praise because there is never a time that praise is not in order. There's never a time where you should not praise God. Praise is calmly. Praise saved my life. Because if it had not been for me praising God, I would have said something I should have said. I would have done something I should have done. But we thank God that I can praise him and I can praise him in advance for what he is going to do. So we come on tonight. We're going to sow going to sow. I'm sowing. We are going to sow into the word on tonight because we know God is going to do it. Now if we stay in this atmosphere and we shift in the atmosphere now to making an altar of one. Just us and the Lord. Forget that we are on Facebook. Forget that we are on social media. Forget that we are on Zoom. But we're making an altar of one right now. Beloved, uh, as anointed as Brother Clifton is, as anointed as I may be, it's certain things you're going through that only you know. There's certain things that you're dealing with on your mind that's not, that only you know about. It's between you and God. It's some secrets in your life that you didn't even share with your best friend. Well, beloved, we come to pray with you on tonight. You rebuild an altar of one. There is no body around. You can cry if you want to. You can, because our God is so good that he can read your silent tears. You can lay prostrate. You can get on your knees. This is the opportunity that God has given us in our virtual sanctuary in 2022 that although we can't gather together in the same state, we can't gather in the same city, but we're gathering online now in a virtual sanctuary 
and we're building an altar of one with just us and the Lord. And the good thing about when we built this altar of one, the intercessors are still standing and praying with you. Brother Clinton is still praying and Lady Nancy is still praying and the, the, the intercessors, the ministers are still praying. That although we are separate locations, we are all connected because we serve the omnipresent God. So we're going to pray on tonight knowing that God is going to meet our needs. Whatever your need is, whatever you're standing in need of right now, call it out right now. Call out whatever you with this healing. We know God is the only one who can say a word today to go back into your yesterday and heal your past. I know you've been through some mess. I, I know you've been abused. You've been used. You've been trapped. But I come to tell you on today that where you are now, we, we, we sung this on Sunday, is not where you're going to be. That what's coming is better than what's been. You want to know the way to deal with this COVID-19 and all the mess going on? It's prayer. God is stronger than any vaccine, any medication. Do I know how we feel safe in our community? It's prayer. For the Bible says, no weapon for the gifts us shall prosper. You want to know how you deal with the issues that you're facing? You go to God in prayer. I wish Lyndon Walsh was on that to quote my brother said that prayer is communication. And prayer is inspiration. Prayer is the way we talk to God. So, beloved, we're praying for mental illnesses. We're praying for marriages. We're praying for division and families. We're praying for the lustful desires. We're praying for homosexuality. We're praying for safety. We're praying for a covering. We're praying for healing. We're praying for protection. We're praying for the healing of the sick. Not just to be healed, but be made a whole. We're praying for deliverance. We're even praying for the shooters that went up and shot all the people. That God will touch his heart and every demon inside him will go back to the very pits of hell for what you think. I pray, even though through this tragic event, that he yes. will come saved. Yes, Lord. We pray yes. on tonight. Yes, God. We gather to pray on tonight. Yes, God. Father, we come simply tell you thank you on tonight, God. Thank you, Lord. We thank, thank you, you because you've been so good and so kind unto us. Yes. We thank you because you have protected us, God. Yes, we God. thank you because you have brought us to this very moment. And yes, for the God. mere fact, God, that you have allowed us to live with yes. over a million yes, people have died for COVID alone, with over with millions of people dying all around us, that yes, you God. have kept us, God. We know that there is still work for us to do. Yes, so, God, God, why are you using us for your service, God? We yes. come as an empty vessel before a full fountain. God, we come as humble as we know how after yes, you to yes. have thine own way, God. Fill us, God. Way. Touch us from the crown of our head to the soles yes, of our yes, feet, God. Yes, God, yes. we need you to show up like never before, God. Up, we God. need you to come into our lives, into our yes. homes, on our jobs and our family, God. We need you, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We tried yes, government. Lord. We tried uh, everything else, but God, we know that nothing can happen without your word. So yes. God, we come calling on your name on tonight. Jesus, yes, Jesus, Jesus, God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, come yes. see about your children. Yes, so God. God. Somebody's crying on tonight. Someone is weeping. Someone is in mourning, God. Someone needs you. The Bible says that you must leave us for, so the comforter can come back. So God, yes. we pray yes, you Lord. now. That you will send the comfort to God. We yes, know that we are hurt. We know that we are in bereavement. We know that we're going through dark moments in life. But God, we know that you're able to do exceedingly in the body. Yes, Above yes. all that we can actually think according to the power that worketh in us, God. We love you on tonight. And we say, God, have thine own way, God. Have we your way, Lord. To your spirit, God. Yes. We yield to your will, God. We say, yes, we'll obey, God. We will follow you. We will obey God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, we pray now for financial blessings, God. Yes, we pray God. that you put a hedge of protection over every member of our family. That yes, God. God. That everyone represented here 
whether on Facebook, YouTube, or on the Zoom call, that you dispatch your angels even now to yes, encourage Lord. around each and every one of them. God, even the ones who don't know you and the partner of their sins, even the ones slinging drugs and dope on the corner, even the ones in the whole house, the prostitutes, the whoremongers, God, we pray you put a hedge of protection around them and not only protect them, but God, you save them. God, we come interceding for family members, unseen family members right now, God. We come interceding for friends who don't know you in the partner of their sin. We come calling on you tonight because, God, we can't do it in our own might. But, God, we come calling on you because we know that you are able. God, we have the altar on tonight calling on your name. God, we tried Buddha. We tried Muhammad. But God, Confucius got confused and, and they couldn't help us. So God, tell me who can stand before us. Yes. We call that great name. That yes, name yes. Jesus. That name is Jesus, precious Jesus. Yes. And because you are Jesus and yes, you are Lord. God, we can say that we have the victory now. Yes, we can Lord. free and declare it tonight. That yes, you have the, we have the victory. We are victorious, God. We know that we are the head and not the tail. We yes, are Lord. above and not beneath. We come last in no good thing, God. But we decree and declare on your nature that we come according to your name, God, with power. <clears throat> we come with conviction, God. Yes, we come yes, Lord. On your name. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Yes, so God. God. Do it for us, God, like only you can. Yes, Lord. Oh, we are standing in need of a miracle, God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Someone don't know what they're going to do. They don't know where the next meal is about to come from. They don't know how they're going to make ends meet. But God, you know that you're able to do it, God. Yes, you are, Lord. You're able, Lord. Touch your people now, God. God, you know the silent prayers are going forth right now. Yes, God. God, we pray that you would touch each and every one of them, God. That you will hear their prayers and meet the needs of your people. God, show up and show out, God, in their life, God. We decree and declare miracle signs and wonders, God. We decree and declare now that your name will get all the glory, God. We praise your name, and you shall get all the glory and the honor. In the mighty, majestic name of Jesus, we pray on tonight. God, we come calling on your name. Because there's no other name that can help us, God. There's no other name that can save us, God. There's no other name that we can call on. And it calls a three-round reaction that when we call on that name, demons begin to tremble. When we call on that name, demons have to flee. When we call on that name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess at that name, Jesus. <clears throat> so tonight, we come calling on that name and say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Have thy way, God. God, go by the hospitals right now, God. Begin to heal, set free, and deliver. Go by the sick room on tonight, God. There's someone laying on the bed of affliction even now, God. And God, by the power that you have given us, but that Holy Ghost power, in the name of Jesus, we God, we say rise up and walk. <clears throat> that man or that woman that's laying in, don't know what's going to happen. The doctors have given up, God. We have a doctor called Jesus. And there's more power in the hem of your garment than in any medication. So, God, we call on that day and dispatch Jesus to the hospital. We dispatch Jesus to the sick room going tonight. Jesus, God, have thine no way, God. There's a mother laying down, don't know how she's going to make ends meet, don't know how she's going to pay her bills, don't know how she's going to put food on the table. But, God, we know that you are the answer and that you're able that we know that you can and you will. So kind Father, we call on you tonight, telling you to go forth and, and heal God. We tell you to go and see about your children because they're crying out to you on tonight. We built the altar of what, God? We come calling on your name because only you can do it. God, only you can save us. Only you can help us, God. Only you can heal us, God. So God, we come as intercessors on tonight and say, Lord, Hear our humble cry, God. Hear our yes. plea of supplication. Hear our voice on tonight. Yes, oh God. Yes, Lord. We come calling on your name. Yes, Father. Jesus, Jesus, our kind Father. We're not naive to the fact to know that we're not perfect beings, God. 
So while you're blessed and while you're healing, God, we pray that you will crucify our flesh. Yes, God, Lord. You will hide us behind that cross. That God, that you will let that blood that streams from your side wash us clean, God. For we yes, are, God. are filthy, nasty, dirty fleshes, disgusting, God. And yes, it can't tarry in your sight. So, God, yes. we pray that you save us all over again. Save that us, you yes. take our black souls and dip it in a pool of your red blood right now. Yes, that you Lord. will cleanse us from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, God. We come repenting now for the things that we've sought, the things that we've thought, the things that we've done, the places we've been, the things we've said, God, the yes, things God. we allowed into our eye gates, God. We repent yes, and we have a godly sorrow yes. knowing that, God, we messed up and we made yes, mistakes. God. But, God, we come to you calling on your name. Yes, Because, Jesus. God, we know that you're able, God. Yes, we know Lord. that you are strong and you're mighty. Yes, Lord. God, we come calling your name and say, save us all over again. Save us. Yes, God. Let your blood saturate all over us. Yes, Lord. Bible says when they apply the blood, God, that the death angel shall pass over. Yes, Lord. So we apply the blood not only to the doorpost. Yes, Lord. We apply the blood to the windows. We apply the blood over us, God. Yes, yes, Lord. Jesus, have thine own way. Have your way, Lord. Jesus, use us in your service. Yes, yes. God, Lord. we pray on tonight that you will come and see about each and every one of your children. Yes, Lord. God, come and tabernacle with us. Yes. God, come as close as we can bear. Yes, Lord. Because your children need you on tonight. Yes, Lord. And we are standing in need of a miracle. God, we decree and declare miracle signs and wonders. Yes, Lord. And God, even when we wake up in the morning, God, things won't be the same. Yes. That, that issue we have been worried about, God, we know that you're going to work it out. Yes, Lord. So, God, we come with like putting everything in your hands, God. Yes, yes. Lord. There's more power in your hands than in anything else, God. We put everything, our issues, our problems, our situations, God. Yes, we so God. put it all in your hands, God. And then, God, we put ourselves, we put our life in your hands. God, because if you touch us, God, if you bless us, we shall be blessed. God, if you heal us, we shall be healed. So God, move by your power, God, and see about your children. Move by your might now, God, see about your children. Come into our life, God, and have thine own way. This is your servant plea and humble supplication on tonight. Hear our humble cry. God, we are calling on your name. And we say, please do not pass us by, God. Because we need you like never before. When violence is going through the roof, it's unsafe. They're going on public transportation. God, we need you. Sickness and death is all across the land and nation. God, we need you. We have walls, rumors of wars. God, we need you. We have mothers killing the children, fathers killing the children. God, we need you. Cover our children's mind right now. We come now claiming our youth back to you, God. We come on tonight claiming their minds that Satan has no dominion. Yes, God, Satan has no dominion. Loose your hold now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Loose your whole Satan. You can't dwell here no more. You can't have our children. You can't have our cousins. You can't have our nieces and nephews. You can't have our parents, grandparents. You can't have our friends, associates. You can't have our colleagues. We pray on tonight, God, that you will cover us, God, under your blood, God. Dispatch your angelic bodyguards you and I. <clears throat> Do it for us, God, like only you can. And God, we take no glory from ourselves. We take no glory from your name. We take no glory within our titles or positions. We take no glory with our ecclesiastical endorsements. But God, we will be ever so careful to give your name all the praise, 
all the honor and all the glory in the name that's above every name. In the name of Yahshua, your Messiah, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, God, we know that you're going to do it. We know that you are able. So God, we give it to you. And we simply say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We simply say, yes, Lord. We simply say, yes, Lord. The word amen means so shall it be. Amen. So when you are when you say amen, you are in agreement with what has been spoken and what has been said. So if you believe God is going to do it, if you believe God is going to bring you out, like Brother Cliff preached about, if you believe God is going to heal your family, heal your friends, and take care of you, I dare you to just shout amen wherever you may be. Let them amen. look at you crazy, but I dare you. To shout amen, so shall it be. In Jesus' name, amen. To thank God. It is our motto here at the Remnant Family Worship Center that you be blessed, encouraged, and expect greater. Why? Because God has greater in store for you. If you believe that greater is coming, all you have to do is walk in the reality of a done thing, not allowing your past to hold you prisoner, or hold you hostage, to keep you from your future. But I come to prophesy to you on tonight that what's coming is better than what's been. I know you've been through hell over the past two years. I know that you was hurt and abused. I know you've been through some things in your life. But because God has spared your life, What's coming is better than what's been. You have cried your last tear. Mary Mary said on yesterday, God is healing your past. God is delivering from you from what has you bound. All you have to do is give the God the yes. Give God a yes from your spirit. Deep down on the inside, through all the hurt, the pain, the scars that's on the inside of you. Push through and give God a yes. And watch that will be the best yes you have ever given anything in this world. We know you told some men and some women yes and they hurt you. But God is not a man that he shall lie to the son of man that he shall not. God is a man that he shall lie. Nor shall he shall have to repent. But if he said it, that shall he do. Give God a yes all the time. Thank you for worshiping with us all tonight. Thank you for praying to my brother. We thank God for your life and your ministries. I pray that the virtue that you have poured out into the remnant uh, family on tonight be restored, restored back unto you double fold. I pray miracles, signs, and wonders. I pray the, the, that your name will be put in the wind and everything your heart desires shall come unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare prosperity on your life, longevity in your uh, relationship. I even decree and declare increase right now. God, we thank you for my brother Clifton on tonight. We thank you for using the vessel. Now, kind Father, fill him up, God. Allow him to complete the next assignment he has. And God, we thank you in advance for what you're going to do. How you're going to bless. How you're going to keep us. In the mighty, majestic name of Jesus, we pray. And it is so. Amen. And God bless. Have a fantastic evening. Have a peaceful night's sleep, knowing that God is using your idle mind as a blank canvas to paint your future. Because what's coming is better than what's been. God bless you. Have a good night.